Hello everyone, welcome back to Next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see XPath access cell, parent and child. So self, what is this XPath? So this is this is also called as current node or context node, and there will be only one current or context node. So whatever we are right now pointing to, or we wanted to get some XPath for that, so that node is called as self node. So where the syntax will be like uh, we have to start with the double forward slash for any relative x path and then the tag name within square bracket we have to give attribute name or value or we can give text also over here and single forward slash or double forward slash self and this is the access name self and we have to give double colon and the what is the tag name again we can give uh, in square bracket what are the attribute or if you want to have a text we can give that right that is also comes as under syntax only and what is parent node so the parent node always will be only one node for any particular node if you take any html document there will be only one parent for any html document element or web element right so this selects the parent node of the current node or context node right and the syntax also pretty much similar to your self so instead of self we have to give parent right and the child so the child meaning the whatever comes under any particular web element those are called as child elements so here we have to point one notice only the direct child that will this will not include your grandchildren of the, any particular children's elements right only the direct children and there can be multiple or uh, direct children for any particular web element right so syntax again it will be pretty much similar to your self or parent like we have to replace only with child right let's uh, take some example now right so i'm going to take this uh, zoho.com and uh, let's uh, talk about any web element let's inspect this and we can see that div element is there under that we have these five direct elements and it has grandchildren as well right first let's understand the self how we can write let's take this complete element so if you press ctrl f this particular uh, input text will open over here press double forward slash and what is the tag name for this one is div so let's give that as a div element within square bracket so or we have to give at the rate for any work with any attribute right so we can see this is pointed out this particular div element which we are intended to and also this is called con current node or context node right so now we have pointed out so now to get the self so give single forward slash or double forward slash anything works fine so i will personally recommend you can use single forward slash sometimes double forward slash works weirdly we cannot predict the answer so i'm i i prefer to use single forward slash so self double colon so what is the tag name or uh, you can give tag name or you can give instead of asterisk also so the it both will result in the same uh, thing right so instead of asterisk you can give div right so it is pointing to single node right so let's uh, give this as uh, give here like driver dot find element by we it is x path right so we have to give x path expression right so what we are going to do right so let's get get this particular uh, web element so how many elements are there right so for that we have to give find elements let's return and save it into list because this returns a list of web element let's import this and this is list of web element right and let's print uh, using for each loop right so it will be easy for understand so this this will return web element right so let's print how we wanted to print uh, let's take a first a tag name what is the tag name it is uh, giving and then let's print what is the how to get the tag name? we have to take the web element w dot get we have to use get tag name and this will print the tag name 
and what is the other uh, things that which we wanted to print uh, i wanted to print how many tags are there how many number of uh, elements that this particular export will have so i'm going to print the size so this list will give the size sorry l w e size so this will return how many elements that this particular uh, export has and let's take some attribute also attribute name and that is value so what we will do for this particular web elements and let's take class right instead of get tag name we have to use get attribute method right so what is that class right let's try running now what will happen so it has to return only one web element that is a size tag name must be div class name should be whatever we have seen over here right let's understand we can see over here it is returned so here we have seen it has only one web element with that particular self right we have given here as a self so it has written the size one what is the tag name we have seen over here it's a div and the attribute value for class is it is password label icon right so this is how the self works so if you want to make double sure that this is a particular web element we are pointing to that is current node or context node you can use self right so the next one is parent so always parent will be only one for any web element right let's take this uh, instead of self we have to give parent that's all so we are pointing to particular web element of this one right that is the one and what is the parent of that one that is the div instead of giving a uh, div if you give star also it will give, it will return the same so when this particular export access comes into play when any particular context that which we wanted to fetch that doesn't have any attribute in it then using its child nodes or its parent node or its siblings we can we can directly get the particular context node so that is where our export access comes into play that's the main goal of this export access right so instead of uh, giving div directly let's give uh, asterisk right so here let's give this let's see what what this will return so this has to return only one size and tag name should be div and what is the attribute name this will be is that a icon password container this has to return right so that's how we have to write the parent uh, access right uh, so it has to load and it has to return the size one right size is one same div element and what is the class attribute name and its value right so next it's a child so self and parent will be having only one node but if it comes to child it, it will return the direct child and it has multiple children right let's see how and let's take this particular uh, same uh, uh, web element and instead of parent let's give the child it's the sim syntax will be pretty much similar right so we can see over here it is returning five right so why it is returning only five so child means it's, it has to only return the direct children of the current context or current node so this is the current or context node what we are pointing to and it has one two three four five five direct children right so we expand this children it has two more elements that is grandchildren of this one these two but it it should not return these two that is the motive of child element it has to return only five right so let's take this particular uh, x path and let's try what it is returning right it has to give size 5 all the tag name of uh, those one and the class name for that right let's try running it right the syntax it's not only pointing to other one so it, we can make sure uh, we can use this export access for the self or context node also to be make sure right so we can see over here as we discussed it, it is returning five uh, elements and one two 
three and i think uh yeah size is five one two three four five right tag name is label so let's understand from here the first child is label and his class name is so zcrm placeholder right you can see label zcrm placeholder what is the next one it's a input its class name is sgn password same input same class value what is the next child it's a so span and next child div and div so span div div it has to write written span div div but you, you can notice that it, it has not written any grandchildren right that's the one point you should remember always when you are writing your child export access right so that's all for these uh, three different uh, export access guys so hope this session was useful uh, for you and thanks for watching guys